Good morning, Frylands. Welcome back to school. Today is Wednesday, March 30th, 2022. We're glad you're back with us for a day of learning. It's supposed to be a little rainy outside, but hopefully between the raindrops, we can get outside or get outside in this liquid sunshine we may have and have a great recess. Hey, just a reminder, tomorrow is Toys From Home Day. That's right, tomorrow Toys From Home Day. So you can bring a toy. Remember, we don't want something very expensive. It has to be something your parents uh, give you permission. So ask them and make sure they're okay that you bring it. And again, no electronics. So no phones, no switches, uh, no um, electronic things that take batteries and remote control and all those kind of things. So no electronics, but you can bring those other awesome toy, one toy that you'd like to bring that is not electronic tomorrow and you can play with it outside at recess. Hey, speaking of recess, just some reminders for you about recess. Here's the bark area, right? In the bark area, there's no chasing in the bark. There's no running, there's no tag. So the only thing we're doing in the bark is we're either walking around or we're hopefully playing on the equipment. We've got lots of great equipment out here. Remember, we always go down the slide, not up the slide. And if someone's going down the slide and we're at the top, we gotta wait till they're done sliding and leave the slide before we go down. And then it's the same thing with the bars. If someone's on the bars, we wait till they get across and then we go across the bars. And we also wanna make sure we're not walking underneath where there's bars because then we can end up getting kicked, like in the head or something like that. So for safety, no chase games, no tag, no running in the bark. Um, and if you are not able to do that, our recess teachers will ask you to go play at a different area, or you may use or may choose uh, think time. Remember, think time is that opportunity to stop and think about your uh, expectations and behaviors um, for each area. So you may be asked to have some think time, or you may be asked to go to a different area. Hey, if you want to chase and play tag, it's over here. Look back here. Back here is the tag area out on the field. So if you wanna play tag, that's the great place to go play tag because you're not going to run into equipment or run into people or run into their legs um, as they're playing on the playground equipment in the bark. That's why no chase, no tag, no running in the bark. You wanna run, you wanna chase, you wanna tag, head out to the tag zone out there, all right? Hey, on our lunch menu, it's Wednesday. We know what that means. Classic cheese pizza, roasted broccoli, or you could have a chicken Caesar salad wrap. Yum, sounds good. Hey, you know what? Today is the 30th, tomorrow's the 31st. You know what that means? The reading challenge is almost over, all right? The reading challenge is almost over. So remember uh, to make sure that you are getting your reading in 20 to 30 minutes a night, filling out your form, and then getting that turned in. Um, there's, there's information on the back for your parents they will go to High Trek Adventures. And again, if you reach eight hours by tomorrow night, right, eight hours for the month of March, you can either have a free ropes course, free laser tag adventure, or a discounted summer uh, camp voucher. Pretty cool. Hey, just also too, a reminder to you at recess time, Mr. Wright today, he's going to be um, talking with kids about flag football signups. So he'll be outside, so if you're wanting to maybe sign up and play flag football, he's uh, doing the signups so that we can create flag football teams. So if you'd like to be on that sign-up list, see Mr. Wright at recess time, and you can sign up to be a student that would be uh, put on uh, a team for flag football, which we'll have coming up here soon. Hey, it's picture day. You ready for pictures? I know I'm ready for pictures today. So I hope you're ready as well. It's a chance for us to have class pictures with all of our classmates. That's so cool. I'm so happy about that, that we get to have that today. So your class will be coming down at different times. There'll be a person um, who comes and gets your classroom and you'll come down and get to take a picture with your class. Hey, I got a shout out. Harley Moyes, Mrs. Veely's class, check it out. Hooray, counting to 100. How awesome is that? Hey, Harley, you can come on down and pick up this certificate as well as pick which color of wristband that you'd like. Great job counting to 100. As kindergartners, that's an important skill that we have so we're ready for first grade. So I see a lot of our students who are already counting to 100, keep practicing. And if you're not quite there yet, keep practicing because we know you're gonna get there, okay? That's how we get better is by practice, boys and girls, so keep that up. You know what, I'm outside and I forgot my the two women that I was going to recognize today, I forgot their sheets to bring with me, but I remember who they are, 
right? So good thing I got a good memory still. All right, so the two women that I'm gonna uh, talk about today and put up on the wall for Women's History Month is Aretha Franklin. Aretha Franklin is a rhythm and blues and soul, um, basically all um, aspects of singing. Wow, she's considered one of the greatest singers of all time. She's won uh, accolades from different um, groups. She's won tons of Grammy Awards. Um, she's won Lifetime Achievement Awards. She's in the Women's Hall of Fame. Um, over 50 years uh, in the music business, creating great music that we love and love to listen to, um, and different genres as well of music. So that's Aretha Franklin, uh, again, one of the women in history that we want to recognize. So today I'm doing two singers. So Aretha Franklin is one, and then the other is Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton has been around, she started in country music, and she's kind of moved into other things as well. Um, again, uh, considered one of the top uh, grossing as far as uh, awards for her. She's done the same thing where she has also had Lifetime Achievement Awards because she's been in the music industry for about almost 50 years as well. So between those two women, lots and lots of wonderful songs. Dolly Parton, she wrote over, has written over 3,000 songs. I, I read that, that was amazing. So two wonderful women that have given us a lot of joy in music, we love to have music, love to sing along, dance. Um, and so those are two wonderful women who brought a lot of joy to people in their music careers. And look, it's Music in Schools Month. So a shout out to Aretha Franklin and Dolly Parton for that. All right, boys and girls, let's have a great day of learning together. Remember at Frylands Elementary School, we respect everyone's feelings and property and their right to learn and be safe. Have a wonderful day, boys and girls. And always remember, your Frylands family cares about you. Teachers, please lead your students in the Pledge of Allegiance. We'll see you soon.